So the past couple of days, I've been re-watching a lot of the POVs from all of the streamers and content creators who were invited to Infinity War Studios to play Modern Warfare multiplayer. It might be because I'm a huge Call of Duty fanboy, but this recent gameplay showcase honestly has me so hooked. I really want to know more of what Infinity Ward has been working on and just see more in general about the game. Um, but anyways, as I was re-watching some of the footage with a few other friends of mine, we noticed just how much little details are actually going into this new Call of Duty game. It may not seem like a whole lot to some, but believe me, for any video game, the more realistic, the better, especially for FPS games. So on screen, you're going to see a still image from TP getting a kill with the Desert Eagle and you can actually see the ring of fire that the Deagle is known to produce. So yeah, that right there alone honestly shows and proves to me that Infinity Ward is living up to their word when they said they're focusing on making Modern Warfare feel like the player is right there in combat. So um, hats off to Infinity Ward for, for doing that. And like I said, I just cannot wait to see more of what they have been working on. This new engine too seems like it's going to add more realistic core features from real life into the video game. Very, very pleased to see this. Also guys, something that a few players have brought up as an issue were the peripherals when you are looking into the scope of a sniper rifle. Some people prefer the blacked out sections of the optics and then others actually like that you can see the surrounding areas to add more awareness and just in general see what's going on around you instead of just seeing, you know, basically nothing but the blacked out sections of the scope. And over on Reddit, one of the devs explained this answer really, really well and why they made that decision. So they said, the blacked out sections of our optics always bothered me. We had to do it that way because we had to achieve magnification by physically pushing the camera out to the target. It wasn't a true optical zoom. The blacked out parts of the screen were not only unrealistic, but took away peripheral awareness. In reality, even with one eye closed, you still get peripheral awareness and can pick up movement on your sides while focusing on the sight picture. What you are seeing in Modern Warfare is an actual optic magnification. All of our powered optics use the technique. It's usually something that has to be reserved for beastie PCs. This was done in Ghost, but used a picture-on-picture -picture technique that came at a heavy cost on the render. It was basically rendering the screen twice and the second picture with lower fidelity. We completely rebuilt this for Modern Warfare so we could achieve the realistic effect and not tax our engine. The result is totally badass and gives purpose to the deep bench of optics in the gunsmith. Our optics have realistic purpose and usage for various situations and missions. At the end of the day, if it means that the engine won't have to be taxed and overloaded, I'm all for this decision, whatever. Um, but also, even what made me more intrigued was at the very end of the response when the dev says that this decision gives purpose to the deep bench of optics in a gunsmith. Our optics have realistic purpose and usage for various situations and missions. Like, for one, I just want to know how many optics y'all have, and two, each optic has a realistic purpose and usage for various situations and missions. Again, guys, the realistic detail in this Call of Duty game is going to be insane. Like, imagine, maybe depending on the weapon, map, playstyle, etc., we're going to be able to choose the different types of magnification the scope may have, or the color of the reticle, the outline of the crosshair. Like, every little detail seems like it's going to be customizable to our liking. Absolutely hyped, and again, I just really want to know more of what you all have really been working on for the past couple of years now. Absolutely insane stuff guys. And then lastly, I'd like to talk more about the different factions in the Modern Warfare universe. So far we know that the two in the game are the Coalition and the Allegiance, but there are plenty more where that came from because also on Reddit, the same developer gave yet another explanation to some complaints from the players. This time it was about just basically two factions in the game. The developer does say that there are more, it's just they follow under the two main factions, which again are the Coalition and the Allegiance. And I have the response on screen for you guys and he says those are the super factions east and western parts of the globe needed two opposing forces to hang over everything. This allows us to have sub-faction squads under each super. Sub-factions can be specific traditional squads or special forces multinational like a task force. For example, in reality, SEAL squads might add a PJ for a medic or an Air Force member for comms or airstrikes. He also says that they will go into details 
those later, but this just adds more freedom while keeping things very realistic. And also there's a lot of cool depth and lore in the operator teams. But yeah, that's how the factions are gonna be structured. And again, we are gonna find more information about this probably at the up and coming official multiplayer reveal in August on the 1st. Um, realism is really what Infinity Ward is going to be focusing on this year and I truly cannot wait to figure out more of what's to come for Modern Warfare. Like, I'm going to link all of this Reddit responses down below for you guys in case you want to check that out. But it's just crazy, like people do give the Call of Duty devs a lot of hate and people say they're terrible this and that. But man, one thing they have done really well re recently is listening to feedback and responding to the community. And yeah, so pretty awesome on you on your all's part there if you're watching this any developer out there um, But one thing I like to mention before I go is Infinity Ward did kind of tease us with gunfight way 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 before we even knew what the title for the game was going to be and I got to give a shout out to Pro Reborn for finding this out um, in this image here, we see some NFL players are playing Modern Warfare early, but check out the layout for the teams. It's set up in a 2v2 style, so obviously right there, after looking at this again, they were playing a gunfight. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of cool. Again, shout out to Pro Reborn for discovering this. Um, I'm going to throw a link to his channel down below in the description. Please let me know your thoughts about all this down below in the comments, and if any of this stuff got you even more hyped for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I love you all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.